Hi folks, Mr. Tesalonian here. Uh, yesterday I showed you just a quick film of this system just being tested real quick. We just threw a little bit of wood in there. I just wanted to see how it was going to work before filling it up a little bit further. Uh, let me go through some of the things that have happened on the last part of the build. You saw me put the top on. The last thing I had left was to extend this pipe or to weld a coupler on the barrel so I could put a two inch pipe off of this. Uh, the next part I've got here is in a heater exchange fan. This heater exchange fan comes from an RV propane powered heater that was inside of there. It's a dual fan and it's got an external motor which is definitely going to be better to use. Typically you wouldn't use it this close to the reactor because I'm going to get drippage out of here from the bio crude oil basically that it's creating. Uh, so you'd want to put this after most of your filter system to start that process but just to show you how to do this I'm going to use it right here. Uh, we've got our air intake. I've got a couple buckets full of wood sitting right there, so we're going to go ahead and open this up and I'm going to take the camera, show you inside. I'm going to fill it up, I'm going to light it up, turn on the fan, and I'm going to show you how this thing works from the inside there, how to set it up, how to start it. Uh, this should be a pretty good demonstration of the whole system in action before we integrate this into some filters, uh, into the radiator, and onto the truck. So give me just a moment, I'll grab the camera and show you how we're going to load this and how to start it up. All right, real quickly here, just want to show you the fan and the two inch pipe that was welded out of the barrel here. What we really did was just weld a coupler. Uh, that way we can go to uh, any other fitting here. We can increase our diameter right outside of the barrel or decrease if we had to. Uh, so here's the fan, like I said, it's just a dual bladed system, side by side, pulling it in, push, pushing it out here. External motor is always going to be the best way to do this, obviously. So just wanted to show you that real quick. That gives us some range of mobility in our pipe size and we can change that over. Uh, once again, we're just going to walk around here. Let me get up on top and put some of this wood inside of there and I'll show you how to light it up. Alright, here we are on top of the reactor now. So here's the first steps. We've got a couple buckets full of material. I've got a box behind me with some starter stuff in it. Some finer material and some paper. And I'll show you that in a minute. Let's go ahead and look down inside of the reactor here. Let the camera focus in. Alright, you can see some of the ash floating around from our yesterday trial. Alright, so here we are looking down all the way into the bottom of our reactor from the top now. I'm going to zoom out again. Just let you see what that looked like down in there. We're looking all the way from the top here. We've opened up the lid. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to start this system out. It's going to be a little difficult here. I'm going to have to hold the camera slightly off to the side. And I'm going to drop some wood in there. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fill that bottom grate screen area up with a few bigger pieces of wood. Stuff that are actually going to hit off down to the bottom like that one. That was a little guy. But we're actually going to try to fill some bigger chunks right on the bottom of that screen, so once they get lit by the finer material up above, that one rested right there, so knock that out of the way. Uh, once they get lit, they'll actually keep the whole system burning really hot right from the beginning. Alright, well, they're kind of bunching up there, that won't matter too much. Alright, there we go. So what we're filming right now, it'll be a little difficult to tell, let me try to zoom in for you. Is we're still inside of that uh, elongated and narrowed spot, the actual uh, condensing area there that I showed you on the build. We haven't even filled up past the point of that yet, and that's what we're going to do. We throw some bigger stuff down the bottom now, and we're going to take some smaller stuff and start building up on top of that. This is just mixed sized wood that I cut up. Most of this was easier to cut with a machete than it would have been with a chainsaw. And right now, what we've done right there is basically some of those top pieces, you can see them resting now up on that upper ridge, are now up to the uh, area where the airflow starts to build. And that's just about right. So what we've done now is filled the screen area with some large pieces, and we've now got, uh, well, we've got some ash problems. We've now got some smaller stuff right on top of that, filling up the, the reduction zone. And now we're going to take uh, some really fine fire starting wood and some bark, and throw that down on top of that and then some paper to light it all. So give me a moment to grab some of the fire starter and I'll set that in there, show you what that looks like. Alright, here's the final layer that I put inside as a starting layer. It's uh, more of a fine mix. It's got some bark mixed in there, some fine sticks. This lights really, really easily. So let's take a couple handfuls of that. We'll stick that down once again. Let's let the camera zoom in a little bit there. Alright, so we're going to fill that in on top, where we had just filled up the larger material. 
Let's go ahead and drop a couple of big handfuls of that down in there. Ah, uh, let's see. Got some stuff in the way. Still needs a little bit more. So let's give it a little bit more. Alright, so there's our final load. You can see how full that is. Now I'm going to drop in a bag full of paper 